What's up? Uh, it's Milky Day, and I just woke up. It's like 4.45. I've been asleep for about two hours, I think. I think I went to sleep at 2 o'clock. 2.25. <sighs> I had a long day. I exercised early, did some chores, went into the city twice, and then gave another person a ride. I don't know. I'm just tired. But I have one unboxing. For the first time in a long time, it's not about Star Wars. It's something different. I'm not changing what I'm doing from Star Wars. It's an investment for the future. Check me out. Right here. I have a book that I've been looking for and checking up on for years. And I finally got it. This, my friend, is Artifact Cycle 2. Planes, Walker, Time, Streams, and Bloodlines. When I came to Magic the Gathering in 2012, I think, I went to the store and I'm in after. All right, I met these dudes in college because I wanted to make some friends and they was all sitting at the table. It was like eight of them playing this game. Sat down, they taught me about the game. It was Magic the Gathering. They told me to a store. They told me to go to a store, Cape Fear Games, afterwards, and I could meet up with them. And they play until six, seven at night. And I went to the store. And eventually, I went and I bought Artifact Cycle One and Two. These was about twenty five dollars each when I bought them. Okay, I read Artifact Cycle One, and then. Like a week later, I go in there and I'm looking for Cycle 2 on my bookshelf there. And I can't find it. I'm looking all over the place. I'm like, where the hell is it? And my mom had thrown it away. She also threw away all my magic cards. She found them and thought they was demonic. So ever since then, I I, I had finished this long ass book here. And then when I went to read this one, it was gone. She could have threw this one away and left this. She threw away this one. And left me this one that I finished. So ever since then, I've been on the internet looking at them. And the price for these books skyrocketed. I'm talking about, I'm about to show you. I just typed in Artifact Cycle 1. Let's see, right there, 70, $77. These are individual stories. And they want 25 for just one of them that's in Cycle 1. They want 120 for the all three. All together. Come on, man. Where's Cycle 1 at? I didn't say the individual stories. There. $81 for Cycle 1. $86 for Cycle 1. $84. $86 again. They want $78 just for... What is that? The Brothers War? That's just this one. This comes with two of them. I don't know why this, this price skyrocketed like that. Don't let me type in cycle two. Oh Lord. When I type in artifact cycle two. I don't even see him on here. Okay. Oh, that's cycle one. I don't even see him on here. Those are all cycle one. Cycle one again. I don't even see Cycle 2 on here, but last time I looked, they were $200. People wanted $200 for Artifact Cycle 2. And now they're all sold out. So for all these years, man, come on, where is this at? Artifact Cycle 2. And Magic. The Gathering. Nobody even has it anymore. So I get on thrift books and for some reason I just typed it in. They had one copy available. It, it is always sold out on thrift books. Let me look at there. Artifact Cycle. For cycle one, 101 books. Now, this is thrift books. The, the place where it's 
always see Artifact Cycle 1, $100. Artifact Cycle 2, out of stock. We received four copies per month. Yeah, right. I ain't seen one copy. I found it on there for like 35 bucks. I had to get it. It was one copy. It came in. It was $35. I bought it. This, it, all right, I'll tell you. I'll show you. This is what it's about. Artifacts and magic mean machines. Not magic, but machines, robots, and any, like, weapons or anything that's a, a machine or an item, a tool. Before Planeswalkers, before the five colors of magic, before history itself, the plane of Dominaria was ruled by the Thrawn. They built machines and artifacts, the likes which we have never since been seen. But amid this civilization, a shadow took root, one that would stretch his arms across space and time. The hideous evil of Phyrexia was born. And in this wake rose a mighty conflict between the brothers Urza and Mishra, a battle of titanic engines, machines, that scarred an entire plane and that altered the course of history. So begins the saga of the Brothers' War. Now listen, this book is what you call bloody. It's not, it doesn't take it easy. It don't give you a break. It's nothing but death in this book. And I think that's, it's a mirror of what civilization is now. I mean, if you look at the news, all you're going to hear about is death and, and negativity. And we build artifacts and machines. We don't have magic, but we get, we go to war and thousands die, millions die, atomic bombs, stuff like that. Artifacts. Now, let's see what this is about. After all these years, let's get, let's see what this is. What began with the Thran and the birth of Phyrexia and was followed by the Brothers' War reaches a stunning new plateau. The war between Urza and Mishra is over, but in victory, Urza has become a planeswalker. And with this, tra and with this transformation, his legacy is charted across the multiverse. Fraught with regret over his brother's death, Urza seeks out the corrupting puff power of Phyrexia so that he may exact revenge. I'm probably going to have to start over and read Artifact Cycle 1 again just to get a refresher before I go to Cycle 2. Man, this shit is bloody. I'm telling you, Phyrexia is a plane where you planes walk to a different world, and I believe it's, it's a world of machines and engines, of living machines. And if you go to Artifacts the uh, Phyrexia and Magic the Gathering, that's a real old, it's super old, and it's real rare to find it, the artifacts from there. But they did have a, a new Phyrexia, a return to Phyrexia since I started playing. I seen it, and, but I didn't. For some reason, I don't have any of them. So to celebrate this, I drove to the city today, and I got... Some cards. They didn't have much. I couldn't find nothing really because I was look. They don't call them boosters no more, or they must do, but not in the database for Cape Fear Games. Every booster pack like this was twenty dollars and up. Only thing I could do was go to the register and point at what I wanted that they had on display. I told her to get Black Magic about vampires because I'm on the dark side and stuff right now with the Star Wars. So let's see what I get. She said that the difference between a draft booster and a set booster is the draft booster has slightly higher rates of getting something good. Because a draft is when everybody sits around, open the pack, and everybody get a card and pass the rest of them around. They do that draft night. Uh oh. So this is a forest of mana. Daybreak Combatants, Human Warlock, Human Archer, Artifact Equipment, Bramble Armor, mm -hmm. Human Ranger. This is going to take forever. I, I remember now how this, I, how this used to be, opening these things. Vampire, Spirit Soldier, Artifact, Soul Cipher Board, and there's the battlefield with three Omen Counters. 
Sorcery, discard your hand and draw a card for each card you discarded this turn. Creature Vampire. Has first strike as long as it's attacking. When it dies, create a blood token. It's an artifact. Artifact equipment, which is I. <clears throat> so I'm going to get my, my Dark Sisters. What's it called? Night Sisters on. Because they, they do dark magic and stuff. So I figured that whenever I do go back to magic, I might just work with artifacts and dark magic to be true to the Sith. I got so many black cards. I got a case, a separate case from my collection that's filled. It's a handbag, tote bag, filled to the brim with black magic cards. Okay, let's see if I can go a little faster. A human token. Gnarled Grove Striker. Vigilance. Half Heart Shaman, Werewolf, Werewolf, Vampire Cleric, Life Link. At the beginning of your end step, you gain life, you may pay two. If you do draw a card, Creature Human Cleric, Creature Human Knight, Creature Zombie Soldiers, Scorpion, Instant. Artifact, honored heirloom, add one man of any color, exile, exile target creature from a graveyard in the mountain. Well, damn boosters, I, I guess the drop rate went down even more. I didn't get anything remarkable. No legendary creatures, no planeswalkers. Let's see what the draft booster has. Instant. A spirit, vampire, menace, zombie, exploit, zombie, exploit, creature, wolf, as long as it's your turn, get to the defense, artifact, creature, blood, servitor, create a blood token, instant counter target, creature, or planeswalker spell, add one mana, mere werewolf, it's a 2-3 also. Zombie, spirit, a land, pay one, add any color. Sorcery, when you draw two cards, lose two life and create a blood token. You draw two cards, lose two life and create a blood token. A wolf token. <sighs> come on, I want a planeswalker. It's been so long, I love to come back to Magic the Gathering. And start with a damn planeswalker. Spirit. Bird. Wolf. A zombie drake. Instant target creature gets minus 13, 13 to the end of turn. If it would die this turn, exile it instead. So it can't come back. What's your <laughs> enchantment? A vampire, a sorcery, destroy target artifact or enchantment and gain three life. A spirit, a vampire, can't block. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Zombie scorpion, creature spirit, howling moon. At the beginning of the combat, target wolf gets 2-2. Two, two. Whenever opponent casts a second spell, create a 2-2 two, two. token. Damn, if they cast two spells, I get tokens. Island. Creature, zombie. Wolf. Okay, the last one. Come on. Come on, Soren. The, the black plane. The black magic plane walker. Ah, come on. A wolf. 4-3. A zombie. Enchantment spell has flash as long as you control a spirit. Oh, sorcery. My neck hurt in doing this. I remember how this magic the gathering unboxings used to be. Or enchant creature land that has 2-2. Two, two. Until the end of turn, target creature gains when it dies, return it to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control with a 1-1 one, one counter on it. 
artifact, honored heirloom, add one man of any color, exile target card from a graveyard. Vampire. Human werewolf. Come on now. Vampire cleric. I guess with the pandemic, they stopped giving away a lot of good stuff. Make you spend more money. Human werewolf. Demonic bargain. Exile top 13 cards of your library. Then search your library for a card. Put it into your hand and shuffle. A land. And a token with life on it. Oh, uh, not that I'm getting back into magic, but I will soon because I want to find out what happened in this book. All right, so that's what I got. Yuki Tay, I'm out.